Hello, and welcome back to King's Quest 7. Alright, we're doing pretty well on gathering the spell ingredients we need to turn ourselves back into a human. So let's continue off to the east and see what we can find here. Or the northeast, rather. This is an interesting spot. <sighs> Very interesting. Lots of beautiful crystals. I don't think there are that many jewels in all of Daventry. Ah, uh, are you a dragon? I am. Do not fear me, little troll. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you. You are most kind. Once that would have made me smile. Now I know I will never be happy again. What has made you so sad? I have lost my will to live. I have lost my spark. A spark. What did you mean when you said you'd lost your will to live? Why? I meant just what I said. I have lost my spark. My world has grown cold. Leave me to my sorrow, little troll. Leave me be, little creature. A dragon. Probably a, a crystal dragon by the looks of it. We needed a crystal dragon scale. Oh. And we ha just happen to have a lantern with a spark inside of it. Um, this doesn't happen to be the kind of spark you meant, does it? A spark! Bless you, little troll! Here, let me have it! I am indebted to you. Here, take this diamond. With it, you can live like a princess. Thank you. It's, it's beautiful, but what I'd really like is... one of your scales? Yes, yes, little one, whatever you want, but I can wait no longer to fly. I will give you a scale when I return.
that whole scene right there with the dragon getting up and flying off and all that. That's one of my favorite scenes in this entire game, really. Um, I don't know why. It just always has been ever since I first saw it. It was just really awesome. No, no real reason other than that. But anyway. So, when the when the crystal dragon comes back, we'll see about getting one of her scales. But for right now, we've got some other business we can attend to. Take a little look at this. Nothing much to see. It's just a gemstone. A little rough hewn, but still incredibly expensive. But we already went and saw them. So I'm just gonna cut this part out and try to make up for that. Because I'm retarded. Uh. I have something I'd like to give you. Oh. oh my my, it's perfect. It's beautiful. How can I ever thank you? I'm forever in your debt. Oh, I'm going to throw out this horrible hammer and chisel and get the best set money can buy. If you don't want it, may I have it, Oppie? Of course, of course. Enjoy them, my dear. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Rosella. All right. This could come in handy. Again, not much to see, but neat, all the same. Not very sharp chisel, is it? Well, I guess, yeah, you can see a point there. Yeah, there's a point on it. Okay. Took more like a nail for a second. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep. That would be her. Hello? Madam Dragon? Wake up! Oh, she's out of it. Rats. I'll never get a scale with just my bare hands. subtle way in the world, but eh. Odd looking thing. Alright. So now I believe we have everything we need, everything that uh, Matilda sent us for. So let's get back to her and get this spell made so we can get back to being human again. I mean, trolls are nice and all, but... yeah. Matilda, I think I have all the ingredients for the spell. Good, good. I knew you were special, girl. Give me the gold bowl first. Good. Now, give me the rest of the ingredients. Just fine, just dandy. Excellent! Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right then, girlie, take a drink. Drink that? Ooh. Did it work? Well, not exactly, dear. Now, what did I do wrong? Not exactly. Uh -huh. I remember. We need a troll hair. I don't think a missing head quite Ow! Is not exactly. There we go! <laughs> she hides her face. <laughs> Ta-da! Hmm, the silver spoon melted. And I thought Mother's tea was strong. <laughs> I suppose I should keep it as a memento. You do that, Rosella. My dear Princess Rosella, I'm stunned! Your beauty is only surpassed by your intelligence, in your courage, and your joie de vivre! 
You! I've had just about enough of you distracting the king, you little snip! Now look here, lady! No! Look here! Malicia! No! Oh dear. There. You just be patient, girl. I'll be in to take care of you before you know it. <laughs> That's what you think. Mm. A couple audio problems there. Sorry about that. It's uh, not easy playing a game on several years old on modern machines. Oh dear. Sorry about that. I think I got this thing worked out now. Rats. My apologies. No, it's not tall enough yet. No, it's not tall enough yet. Whew, that's better. <laughs> now I've got to get out of here. Come on, Rosella, think! My lady Malicia, I wasn't expecting you! And who were you expecting, you pathetic wretch? Your precious princess? Listen to me, you pudding-brained puppet. If you and your obsession with that pale-skinned, meddlesome princess manage to disrupt my plans, I'll have you filleted. Have you learned to work the volcano mechanism yet? Well, yes, I, th I think so, but Lady Malicia, is it really necessary? Will the realm of Eldritch be hard, my lady? The Bountiful Woods are right below Etheria, and the land of Ooga Booga below that. Oh, a village here, a township there, who's going to miss them? Even if all of Eldritch is covered in slag, at least the blight of Etheria will be gone. Oh. Well, she's not very nice. I just don't know what's right, what's real. If only I could remember. Oh no, she can't, she just can't. Remember what exactly? <laughs> oh, hello. And what are you? <laughs> what is this little thing?
Excuse me, Mr. Troll? Hello, sir. Swell. They're just as helpful as ever. Don't you hurt him. Don't you dare hurt him. Stay out of it, old woman, or you'll regret the day you were born. There's something wrong with him. What have you done to him, witch? You really don't want to know, Ancient One. Your old nerves couldn't take it. Suffice it to say that it's a lot nicer than what I plan to do to you. You don't scare me, you cold-blooded beanstalk, you flinty-eyed lizard! Matilda, I know you're concerned for the king, but maybe you shouldn't bait Malicia like you did. She's fully capable of, of hurting you. Don't I know it, child? But I can't help myself. I'd do anything to find out what she's done to my Otar. Anything. Yeah, don't bait her, Malicia. Just walk right up to her and yell in her face like Rosella did. That'll always fix things. Matilda, maybe if we investigate, we can... Can't you see it's hopeless, child? That creature is far too powerful. Well, maybe this woman knows who... what this little thing is. Matilda, what is this funny little thing? Otar's Dragon Toad! This was King Otar's when he was just a wee lad. Let's it's smile. a magical guardian. When little Otar would take it with him to play, it would watch over him and get him out of trouble. If he really got into a scrape, it would run home and tell me where he was. It doesn't look very lively now, Matilda. Yes, it's been dormant for years. Let me see now. <laughs> It's working! Dragon Toad, tell me now! Where is King Otar, and what's he doing? Oh, His Majesty the King is imprisoned, far away, in the land of uh, Ooga Booga. That means the king who's been in cahoots with Malicia is an imposter! I knew it! Uh -huh. Matilda, I overheard the king, or, or whoever he is, and Malicia talking. It sounded like she intends to cause a volcano to erupt. Hanix Underground is nothing but one big volcano. We trolls have been the keepers of the volcano for a hundred generations. If Malicia ignites it, the entire realm of Eldridge will blow up. Rosella, we must find the real King Otar. He's the only one with the knowledge to shut down the volcano. Here, take this magic rope. That I just happen to have sitting in my pocket. Use this rope with the elevator to Ooga Booga. Find the real king of the trolls. Go now. It may already be too late. Where is that little snip of a princess? When I find her, I'll... <laughs> Flea-bitten, mange-ridden, nasty, smelly vermin! Someday I'll come up with a way to cause every bat, rat, and snake in the world to explode at once! <laughs> She doesn't like bats. What a shame. Try.
try to escape, will she? Well, just let her try. I should have done something to take that beast's attention away from me. I think so, do you? Hmm. Well, what works better than food? situation. That's always good for our health. Yeah. Anyway, we're just about out of time for today, so thank you for watching, and when we come back, we'll travel through this cave and see what we find on the other side. Thanks again for joining me. Hope to see you next time. Bye.